continue a chapter that I started on how to set yourself apart. Part number two. So as we previously discussed the fact that as a lead guitar player you're the one who delivers the style to the band. Let's move on and let's see some other techniques, you know, to make things a little bit more exciting, more flavorful, more spicy, like cowboy style. So we talked about arriving into certain notes, but as a guitarist we should have several other, like one of, if not the most important, bands. This is your absolute signature as a guitar player and I would bet if this is one of the reason why you choose a guitar because when you were watching those music videos and you seen the first you know bands on the guitar you were just like what the did I just see am I right or am I wrong so might as well practice it out good you know like certain songs like let's stay in the vein of Guns N' Roses for a second here you know the songs like pretty tied up when the song starts with legendary bands, right? Like in the key of D, opening note is, uh, is this huge band. So yeah, uh, bands, really important, guys. Just as an athlete, you know, let's talk about like a professional athlete, like a, a runner or something, you know, a sprinter. In order for those guys to perform at the level where they, where they can perform, uh, they do a bunch of other stuff and drills to maintain that kind of performance. So what we see in the Olympic Games when the sprinter runs for that 10 seconds or 6 seconds or 7 seconds, that all is a sum up of a lot of previous hard work that we have absolutely no idea what was going on before. You know, and same as for us guitar players, you guys, when you want to nail that perfect song, you know, it's all good to, you know, chase the tone and all that stuff, but uh, I want to encourage you guys to spend some time with your intonation. You know, these bands are extremely, extremely important. And this is your signature as a guitar player, and you can't outgear bad intonation. It doesn't matter where you put the wah pedal or the equalizer, you know, if your bands are falsy. Alright, guys, moving on. Let's talk about the vibrato. Another extremely important tool in the guitarist arsenal is the vibrato. This is another of signatures of yours. So I want to encourage you guys to spend some time with it and master it. There isn't really no right or wrong approach to a vibrato. It could be slow, it could be uh, fast, it could be like a shorter wave, it could be like a, you know, like a wider, either one. But make sure whatever you do, do it right. Don't just be like random nonsense, you know, because that doesn't sound right. Make sure that it's tasteful and it complements the atmosphere and the song or even if you're jamming along, okay? Uh, you don't want to overdo it, but you don't want to underdo it either. So it's always kind of like the mid-range, you know, that, that golden ratio where you want to work with. Now there's a couple extremes, you know, Zach Wilde, you know, he has a very aggressive vibrato, very fast and very wide. Angus Young, very, very recognizable vibrato, you know, like absolutely rock and roll kind of a ton of feel to it, you know? There's a Slash Vibrato, there's a David Gilmour's Vibrato, legendary as well. Um, Stevie Ray Vaughan Vibrato is phenomenal. Um, and the list could go on and on and on. But what I really want to emphasize here, this is important, this is your signature, all right? This is the top decoration, and it's extremely important for guitarists to have a good Vibrato, right? Is there anything more annoying than like not good Vibrato? can't play without a guitar string. Na gyere ki öcskös, játszok még egy utolsót. Ez egész. Slash does quite often as well, and you guys, I'm sure you're already familiar with. And 
this is something that can make your playing so much more texturized and you can saturate the certain notes that you're starting to pick out like you know like if you guys notice there was like a lot of noise coming from the right hand and it, simply by stroking through several strings before I would hit my desired note that I'm actually going to bend up at the end but this is again it's something that shouldn't be overdone it's just for simple notes or certain notes what you really want to emphasize because if you're oversaturating your playing and you're always adding this noise this can be too much after a while so make sure that you use it wisely so what we got so far, we talked about arriving to certain notes, you know, like as a guitarist we have the ability, and I'm sure that maybe other instruments do, but I think a uh, guitarist has the, the, pretty much the, the, the most flexible approach or simply be, because as our instrument, the guitar is, the way it is, the way it built and the way it functions, we can deliver these certain notes by arriving with certain slides, you know, that sounds really good. And then uh, we talked about number two, we talked about our bands. Extremely important, right? Good bands. Look, if you're trying to lay on to a solo that starts with those legendary bands and you mess up that first band, nobody wants to hear you anymore. The attention is lost and you can't do nothing, man, to get it back, all right? So make sure that your band is on point. Number three, vibrato. Second of your signature, probably most important tool after your bands, or there might be on equal levels. Who knows? Either way, what is really important for you guys to work it on it. Don't just leave it like, you know, uncertain or not developed well enough. You know, spend some time. Don't force yourself. Listen to your inner voice, what feels natural and what feels good, but it needs to be practiced. Alright guys, I think we wrapped it up for today's video. I just wanted to check in for you real quick because I'm always thinking about you guys. And this was a cowboy style slash style, all of that good style guitar playing video lesson for you guys. And with that said, thanks for watching. I'm going to keep up the work. You can count on regular uploads. And for today guys, school is out.